And you spoke about COVID accelerator effect on several emerging trends. Which of these trends are continuing to grow and impact the world we live in? Yeah, so uh, when this pandemic started, a lot of people were asking us questions about how the world was going to dramatically change and all of these new things that were going to happen as a result of the pandemic. And my message has always been pretty clear that while some new things have emerged over the last year and a half, a lot of what we've seen happening are things that we were able to identify long before the pandemic, but the pandemic has accelerated them. So we call that the COVID accelerator effect. And let's talk about a few ways that that's happening that I think all of us can relate to. I mean, the first has to do with virtual work or what the, the term out there is uh, distributed work, partially or fully distributed work. And the idea being that more and more certainly white collar professionals are going to be, or people who um, engage in what I'll call intellectual or cognitive labor are going to be working at least part-time from home are using flexible arrangements, whether it's where they're working from or the hours they're working. And we were talking about this concept for the last 10 plus years. We called it Verflex and we coined that term over a decade ago. And at the time, only a few companies were really experimenting with this. And now because of the pandemic, you're gonna see massive workforce and workplace shifts that we could sort of predict a long time ago, but now they're coming to fruition. You know, the other one that's very obvious is the idea that as supply chains get disrupted and as human labor gets disrupted, we are going to see more certainly lower level functions uh, throughout the organization get disintermediated by technology. And we've been talking about that for a very, very long time. It's been happening in the manufacturing sector, but we were saying that a lot of cognitive labor was gonna start to get disintermediated by technology. Um, what we call other sourcing. Uh, instead of outsourcing to other humans, it was gonna, work was gonna become done by, by technology that could do it more efficiently and more cheaply. And because of the pandemic, we are seeing that there are certain areas of human labor where people are either less interested in working in those areas anymore, or people don't want to have as many human to human touch points, um, or there are other issues like the wages being paid. So you're gonna have more lower level jobs being outsourced to technology. And so a lot of the things we're seeing today, we were seeing prior to the pandemic, but the pandemic has accelerated it. You know, another one, migration shifts, um, demographics, uh, the study of how people certainly in the developed world are increasingly living in multi-generational households. So now because people need togetherness and they need support both emotionally and economically, we see in some cases three or four generational households so what does that do when we're consumer marketers? What does that do is we market to people who might be living in the same house as their grandparents or their grandchildren um, and, and sort of their lifestyles are overlapping. So there are all of these interesting things we're looking at politically, economically, technologically, and demographically that started to happen before the pandemic, but they're now happening at an accelerated exponential pace right now.